-hmm. but we just can't thank y'all enough for the, for the support of charter schools this Sorry. year at a time when we've seen unprecedented growth, 25% growth. It's critically important. This restored some of the money that uh, the charter schools were short uh, when so many of our children left the traditional public schools during the pandemic and entered the public charter school system. The funding on that system lags a year behind. Essentially, there was a, a there was a about a twenty million dollar shortfall. So the gap funding of nine million dollars is going to help fill the gap hole that was created as a result of the continuing resolution and the increase in charter school enrollment. Uh, you saw all this, all this demand come in and you know, we're just trying to catch and do what the people of South Carolina have asked us to do. So we just want to thank you for supporting us and supporting most importantly these families. Well, first of all, it makes sure that our schools are fully funded. They saw a uh, unprecedented wave of students trying to get into the local charter schools as a result of COVID, as a result of the fact that our local charter schools under our two authorization umbrellas opened up in like five day face to face instruction heeding the call of the legislature, the governor, and most importantly, parents and families uh, around the state. So ensuring that these schools are able to operate will ensure that there's continuity into the next year. And I think what we're gonna see is not a temporary wave of interest in charter schools from COVID, but a permanent wave that's gonna continue. I believe it um, shows the, the value of choice, that option that families had during a tough time was an important option to have. It strengthens the argument for the option of charter schools and uh, I think strengthens the argument for, for appropriate funding for charter schools. I, I think the MOU agreement between the Charter Institute of Erskine and the South Carolina Public Charter School District has been the, the difference maker. We're seeing the fruit of working together collaboratively with shared goals and shared purpose and even shared vision for where we go and want to go for the state of South Carolina in regards to school choice for families across this state and it's now bearing that fruit as we saw today. This is what progress looks like. Yeah, absolutely.